Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you game number three of this, like, hilarious Dark Templar-based PvP series. I really hope that you've enjoyed the previous two games. Uh, Jean Hun up here in the top right of Largo. In the bottom left, we have Nada. Um, yeah, both games were, like, instantly won when DTs walked into their opponent's bases. All right. All right, let's 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 see what these guys have in store for us this time. Look, I feel like we've actually been lucky on this, this channel with our PvPs. Because I actually, I think that most of the PvPs that get casted here, and there's been a lot, because, I mean, there's, like, what is there, like, 420 games? <laughs> nice. Uh, that have been casted so far on the channel. And, it, like, I think we have had some really great PvPs overall. But I don't actually handpick games. I haven't seen any games that I've casted. Like, every every single game I've ever casted here, well, actually, except for the old school classic games. Obviously, I've seen those because I'm kind of doing, like, a history lesson on those. But, yeah, other than that, I have not seen or know the results of, <laughs> of other games unless someone spoiled it for me terribly. Um, but, yeah, so... I mean, not pre-screened or anything. Hopefully, it's not just a DT walking across the map. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, John Hun, the first to scout. Hoping that we get an epic PvP here to see who goes on. This is the first match in Group A. Uh, and again, it is GSL style group. So, you got to lose twice to be out or win twice to uh, go on into the bracket stage. Now, John Hun, yeah, scout down here. Doesn't see anything. Ooh, the Sanking Gate. I like this build a lot. Uh, this is one where you generally make three zealots and send them out. And you can put quite a bit of pressure onto your opponent. So very cool to see. But it is cross map, so a little bit harder to make that work out. We'll see if Nada actually starts uh, a zealot or not. I think he's just going to go for a second pylon here. It does look that way. There it is. And of course he has a cybernetic score coming up. But, uh, you know, that's, that's going to make it a little bit hard to defend. If you have, like, one dragoon against three zealots, it takes a really long time for a dragoon to kill three Zealots. Uh, and the Zealots can do a lot of damage in that time. So as Jean Hoon gets down here and no Zealot is popping out as of yet, like, he's got to be feeling pretty darn good about this. Like, this is basically what you want to hit with this build. Ooh, offensive pylon as well. This is going to stop some of the mining and screw up AI in here as well. That's going to really help out the Zealot harassment as it comes down. And the first Zealot was sent immediately, by the way. Two more on the way. He's not making any more now. Going to go ahead get that Cybernetic score. That is the normal follow-up here. Probe waiting down at the ramp. And the Dragoon should go to kill this instantly. I think Nada in some serious trouble here. This this could get out of hand pretty quickly. Now, the Dragoon is here, but immediately going after the probes here. Oh, my God. Already gets one. Using that uh, probe to actually make less shots here. Two probe hits, two Zealot hits. will end up killing a probe. So, fantastic micro here so far. Good targeting. But that is a nice probe drill from Nada. Wow. He actually kills the Zealot and the probe very quickly there. Super, super efficient. But here come two more Zealots now. You know, if he had the three Zots, it would be a little bit more scary, but this can still do a lot. All right, the drilling is happening once again. This Zot really getting stuck up there. No kills on him yet. Gets picked off almost immediately. This bottom Zelot. Uh, the, pro the pylon goes down. No kills yet. Okay, gets one. I tell you, that was some good micro from Nada. He did fantastically there. Kills everything off. Now... It's not the end of the world for John Hun. Just throw this out there. Like, some probes were killed, and he's been producing non-stop. So you can see he's up four probes right now. Has two Dragoons, two more on the way. We have two Dragoons going across the map. And, of course, range is quicker, but you've got a high ground advantage here. So just because you have range doesn't mean you get to just walk up the ramp and kill them. You'll take too many hits, and you can't utilize that range. Because if you're forcing up the ramp, what are you going to do? Try to run by the goons? They're just as quick as you. Just move, move, attack, move, attack, move, attack. And, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Citadel of a Dune. Okay. I was getting nervous here that this would turn into a big macro game. When really what we want is invisible men walking across the map and ending it. One way or the other. Jean Hun. 
Let's see what he makes here. Oh, I was going to say, it's either a robo or a shield battery. Like, that's the only thing you would place in a location like this. And honestly, the shield battery would probably be closer to over here. So he is making a robo. And this is started pretty early. I think he's just going to be okay here. Yeah, yeah. Like, the Templar Archives is, like, still just two-thirds done? Against, like, an one-third done robo? Yeah, I think, I think you just have an observer, basically, as the DT gets there. So... Jean Hun, I believe, is just going to stop this dead in his tracks, but that doesn't mean that you win. Like, if someone makes a DT, it's not like auto loss uh, if you have detection. Now, there is the possibility that Jean Hun can just counterattack if there's not enough units. And are we going to see cannons go down? A lot of times you utilize the cannons to kind of give you that additional firepower against incoming attacks. Now, observatory is being made. How far along are the DTs? Not quite done yet. Big army going across the map right now. We don't see any defensive structures. Not even a shield battery. So he's going to have to utilize uh, his Dark Templars for the defense here and offense, right? Like attack across and like maybe defend with the other one. But the Observer is on the way. John Hun has zoned everything out. He's up by nine workers. I really like his position here. And his production has been non-stop. So look at this. We've got eight range goons and two zealots against three dragoons, a couple DTs, and a zealot. And he's making two more DTs? Oh my god, that's crazy. I don't know if you're really able to hold this. Like, if Jean Hun attacks... Look, he picks off that first one. Second observer is on the way. DT gets pulled to the side. It's got to try to do a counterattack. But making four DTs is a bit much. I'm not even sure what the plan is because either one gets in or it doesn't. And, like, if you lose one, the other one can try to do something like this one's trying to do. But I don't know what the other two are even meant for. I think Nada is going to die straight up. He's behind in, like, every single metric. Okay, so targeting down that DT super quickly. Down it goes. These Dragoons coming forward. All right, not the best PvP series that we've seen, but Jean Hun showing that he he deserves the accolades he's been getting so far. Only dying to an invisible man one time. <laughs> and, I mean, that looks to be it. That's There's nothing left here for Nada. Jean Hun should be going on to that winner's match. GG.